If you've never stayed in a hostel before or haven't in a long time, this list should give you a good idea of what they're like in Japan. Welcome to the channel of adventures. My name is Dylan. Welcome to Dylan's Travels channel. If this is your first time joining, please do accept my warm welcome and subscribe down below if you love adventure focused content, the best travel itineraries and traveling overall because we bring you the best spots, the best locations from all around the world. Starting from the first hostel on the list. Len Kyoto, Japan. Now I may butcher a lot of this pronunciation, so please excuse me, but many domestic and international travelers visit this hostel and the first floor cafe bar is popular with those seeking coffee, alcohol, and daily changing dishes. Len is a hostel located eight minutes from the Kawarahmaki station. In addition to having easy access to the city, you can walk down to the Kamo River and spend some time relaxing while admiring Kyoto's mountains. Many of those who choose this hostel find it very appealing and give it high praises to the hostel's decor as well as the fact that the vibe in the place is great, resembling a chilled out beach setting. With a great atmosphere and great staff, customers can't stop praising the beer as being very tasty. Another advantage of the hostel is that you do not need to have cash on hand to pay for your stay. Cash, credit card or PayPal are all acceptable methods of payment. A lounge where a diverse range of people come and go is a place for people to gather across all boundaries. There is a bar and dining area on which you can enjoy various types of rice as well as a bar and dining area where you can enjoy different types of craft beers and cocktails. And there is a large selection of daily menus with delicious meals. And you should keep in mind that you will have to share a room with somebody because single rooms are not guaranteed and often when you stay in a hostel you choose to stay with other people in the room but that is what makes them very cheap. There is also no designated parking or bicycle parking for cars and motorcycles and dormitory rooms are mixed, female only or private rooms or a vacation single room, relaxed single rooms, queen rooms, king rooms, relaxed double rooms and finally chandelier rooms are available in this hostel. Goodness me, that is a lot of... Uh, different types of rooms for a hostel, I ran out of breath. The most exciting aspect of this hostel is that their common room has an open kitchen space that can be used 24 hours a day with free tea and a free computer with free Wi-Fi. Towels, toothbrushes, padlocks, earplugs, conversion adapters, washing machines, hair dryers, skincare sets, pajamas, and laundry detergent are all available for rent. Coming in fourth on the list, we have the Millennials, Fukuyuka. The hostel is located on the third floor of the Lively Hotel. It is fantastic. The place is cool because you get little pods, so when you arrive, you're given an iPhone, which serves as your key, but also allows you to control your bed, lights, and set your alarm. It has a very futuristic feel to it, and the beds are very large, unlike most hostels where you'd get a twin size bed. So having an actual real bed is like the best feeling ever, and the beds are very comfortable. This hostel storage is similar to that found beneath the bed. It's fantastic. There are common facilities and areas such as workshop space, kitchen, play zone, dining area, and bar, which are open 24 hours to public. The sleeping pods are also installed in a cutting edge fashion. Both perfect comfort and the internet of things technology are available. There is a place to work, play, cook, socialize, and relax. This hostel is more than just a place to stay with many people living this way. The staff are extremely friendly and the rooms are as good as a capsule host hostel you can get. And every guest staying at the Millennials has access to all of the lively hotels, amenities and common areas, which include a bar, restaurant, banquet halls and co-working space. The Mel Millennials Fukuyuka has a car park available for guests who wish to drive their own vehicles. Parking is charged. The capsule hotel provides convenient self-parking. Every day a happy hour offers free draft beer. Another perk of staying at the hostel is that you have access to unlimited coffee 24 hours a day, seven days a week. People who stay at this hostel always have something wonderful to stay about it, whether it's their rooms, food, free beer or coffee. The stay is also cheap. Coming in at number three, we have the Hostel Toki. Enjoy your stay at Toki Hostel. Fukuyuka and Hakata are appealing because of their urban nature balance, food and laid back attitude of the locals. The Hostel Toki is located in a quiet neighborhood with a small Showa era shopping street, just a short walk from the central Hakata station. You can feel very safe even if it is your first time visiting the hostel or a guest house, and the hostel aims to continue providing a friendly nature, a friendly environment and services from which it can help all of the people staying at the hostel. Toki's location is ideal for tourists because it is close to the city center and the Hakata station surrounded by local restaurants and bars and shopping and tourist attractions. There are numerous local restaurants and sightseeing opportunities nearby. 
You can take short trips by bicycle or local bus from Central Park to urban oases such as Ohori Park, Fukuoka Castle Ruins, Meizuri Park or a famous cherry blossom viewing location. There is so much to do around this hostel. Coming in at number two, we have the Unplanned Shinjuku Hostel. The Unplanned Shinjuku Hostel is located in the heart of Shinjuku's popular tourist district. The interior is very nicely decorated, bright and stylish, and even evoking the neon lights of Shinjuku at night. Unplanned Shinjuku offers four different types of rooms, ranging from original dormitory beds to private rooms. The hostel even provides free game consoles to use, which I think is absolutely fantastic. You can play these games any time in the day, Nindo Switch, Umbrella Blankets, board games, and if you forget to pack something for your trip, such as international adapters, you can buy it from the hostel. Their branches offer the best facilities and one-of-a-kind events to all their visitors, and events are a great thing to have at hostels. You may meet many new people and have many much fun inside the hostel and you may attend hostel gatherings outside of the hostel as they set up many events to go to. Nearby attractions include the Kuran Seik Market in Shinjuku Izakaya, Tokyo Night Tours with Tokyo Boys and the Sugar Art Market in Shinjuku Izakaya. The hostel is centrally located, the Takatsushin Chosenji Temple, Full Gospel Tokyo Church and Shinjuku Eastside Square are all within an 8 minute walk for the property. Guests can take advantage of this property share kitchen, concierge service and luggage storage. And finally coming in at number 1 we have the Kayo Tokyo Samurai. As hostels are still mostly related with backpacking international travellers in Japan, Manario is creating and successfully running its hostels in the hopes of building a community of global travellers from Japan and abroad from various backgrounds. Travelling alone in a team with friends or relatives or businesses, they aim to make everybody have a fantastic time together and there are numerous room types available catering to groups as small as three up to private rooms that can accommodate more than 10 people which is very pleasing and it makes for a great time when travelling with friends or on a short vacation or solo travelling. Their breakfast is incredible, they prepare a simple breakfast for you, bread, cereal, fruit and beverages are all included and the hostel staff are very nice and extremely polite and they share a lot of knowledge about the local area which is fantastic. There is lots of nightlife, local activities, great restaurants and there is so much to do in the area of the hostel, it really is one of the best places to go. There is free Wi-Fi, shared kitchen, a refrigerator, microwave and other amenities which you can use. There's an information lounge, dining area room, a comic room and these are all common rooms which is fantastic. So you get free tea and coffee and as well you get the opportunity to try Japanese tea. If you're a smoker there is a smoking room on the first floor and you'll always feel at home in this area. Staying at Kaihozan Hostel puts you close to Tokyo's attractions. You can ride a bike, take a bus or even walk to Tokyo, which is only a few minutes away. You can also visit the Tokyo Skytree Sensoji and Yogaiho Park, which are all popular Tokyo attractions. Shinjuku Gaien National Garden and Azayukasha Haniyahisha are both worth a visit. These are some of the attractions that you can visit while staying at the hostel. Well, that is it. Your trip to Japan will be the most amazing trip you can ever imagine. You won't be bored in any of these hostels listed because they are all close to local shops, restaurants and all the tourist attractions in the city. When you visit Japan, try these hostels and see why they are regarded as one of the best places to stay in Japan. Staying in these hostels mentioned in this video will make you feel at home even if you are literally away from home. So. Thank you very much for watching and listening to today's video. This information is obviously subjective and may change over time and my pronunciation was heavily butchered during this video but thank you for enjoying it nevertheless. Azakusa Hanayakishika are both worth a visit is what I meant to say earlier on. But thank you very much for watching, take care and subscribe. Thank you.